Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at, well, basically to cut a long story short, we're going to be taking a look at the very last possibility, Golden Freezer, Angel, and Android 17. Now, their EZA has obviously come to DBZ Dark Metal Global. I'm fortunate enough to have them at 55%. I know, very, very big. No, but all jokes aside, I am very fortunate to have them. I think they are a good character. Uh, super interested to see just how good they are though. So in terms of their effects, they massively raise their attack for one turn on their 12 key. They greatly raise attack and defense on their 18 key whilst greatly lowering attack and defense as well. And uh, that's a pretty good effects considering you know, lowering attack kind of has a lot more relevance nowadays. Attack and defense of 177%, which is great. And they get an additional 50% attack and 7 key for their very first turn, which again is something that is pretty useful. They launch two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack, which is great. And then of course on top of all of that as well, they launch two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So they really have kind of three supers baked in. They launch an additional super with a great chance of performing a critical hit when HP is 77% or less. Key plus one up to seven with an additional 11% per attack performed. An additional key plus one and 20% attack with each super attack performed. It's important to note that super attacks will count for both the uh, base attacks and of course, obviously the super attack portion. Chance of forming a crit plus 17% and damage reduction of plus 17% within each turn with an attack performed. So again, this is also pretty straightforward. So now they have an active key plus 7, defense is 77% and they also perform critical hits for one turn. Now I'm going to be honest with you, these guys are pretty decent. Uh, I will say, to be honest, um, they do sit in the realm of at least a 55%. They start off quite slow. Uh, it's not that they are bad, because the 50% damage reduction kind of makes up for their you know, start of turn defense. But offensively, they start off quite slow. Even with a lot of their links active, uh, even with support, they're not the kind of unit that's going to start out with like 20 million. Not that every unit has to, but they start off relatively low. Now, the good news is, is that you know they build up quite quickly. And when you build them at anything above 55%, so if you've got dupes in that, you probably want to give them uh, a mix of additional and crit. The reason being is additional is great because obviously you can get up to four super attacks in a turn, uh, up to five if you're below 77% health. And this can give you your 85% damage reduction, 85% crit chance. But the main thing is, is the speed at which it builds you up. However, the thing is, is they're not really going to crit a lot on their first attack. So you want to kind of give them a little bit of crit because it's only really by their second or third attack that their crit rate's really going to feel impactful. So I do suggest that you build up uh, the characters and you know, help them to get some attack going uh, a little bit earlier on through additionals, but yeah, crit will definitely help them out. All in all, as a second slot unit, they're not bad. Um, they can hit some pretty decent defense. We're talking about 500, 600k start of turn. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you also got to factor in that you know, they are greatly raising their attack and defense every single time that they do their, well, when they do their 18 key, which is very important. So they're going up to like 600, 700k, and they're also adding in 17% you know, damage reduction, which is also something you can't really evaluate um, you know, too little. Does that make sense? Like, it is it is a good chunk. So, and they build up to a decent whack. I mean, 55%, they're looking at 50, like I said, 500, 600k defense. They also are looking at 15, 16 million uh, in terms of damage, which is really good. So, I think for me, they're a good unit. They are just unfortunately a little bit limited when it comes to categories. Uh, Battle of Fate, Battle of Wits, Join Forces, Universe 7, Tournament Participants, uh, Universal Survival Saga, and then it's links where I think they actually have the biggest problem, because their links are very specific. And now USS is already an incredibly strong team, but USS itself has like, you know, 
Gokus and Vegetas and stuff like that. These guys don't look too badly with them. Because uh, obviously they've got Legendary Power, Tormentor Power, uh, Fierce Battle, and then Shocking Speed is not too bad. But the big defensive links uh, for these guys are what you're lacking. So it's not so much the fact that you know you don't have these guys with all their links, it's the fact that they're two big defensive links, which is Brainiacs uh, and, of course, um, Tough as Nails, are very hard to get. Like, very hard to get. So, that's the only unfortunate thing I want to say. It's not the end of the world for them, because, like I said, they still do amazing. I mean, 500, 600k. But with, the, you know, Tough as Nails, with Brainiacs active, you'd be looking at, you know, 700, 800k defense. Um, at 55% start of turn, which is a very, very, very good amount to have, uh, especially when you consider how their defense works and their damage reduction and everything. All in all, a very good unit, a limited unit, but a good unit. I think the speed at which they build up is good. Like I said, I think ultimately the only real issue you're going to have with them is really just how you uh, incorporate them into the team. Because they are definitely a second slot unit. Uh, they could take the place of someone like SSBE, Goku and Vegeta. If you don't have SSBE, Goku and Vegeta, Frieza and 17 are actually a good alternative for that. They fulfill the same kind of role. Multiple attacks, big damage dealer. Um, but I think they're a little bit more defensively sound. Remember, chances are they're probably going to get to, at the very minimum, 51% uh, defense because they gain it per attack, not per super. So they are guaranteed three attacks in a turn. So the thing is, they probably are going to get to 51% damage reduction at the very minimum, with close to a million defense, which in most situations should keep you nice and toasty. So maybe not as exciting as Goku and Vegeta, but definitely defensively um, a very strong option. So yeah, but uh, that's really it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And as always, uh, I should see you guys in the next one. Bye.